Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has released a new update for Microsoft Power Toys, which as you may well know, can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. And the update is version 0.83, which is now the latest release. And although the update doesn't contain any new utilities or tools, um, it does add improvements and fixes for existing utilities and tools and also improves the Awake tool, which as you may well know, as I've posted on previously, is a way to keep your PC awake on demand. And I'll actually leave a video down below and in the end screen regarding this feature when it first came out if you'd like some more info because it's actually quite useful. Now the highlights are that the Awake quality of life changes have rolled out. So... Um, these will include changing the tray icon to reflect the current mode. So um, what we do is if you turn the actual feature and module on, here you get the different modes to manage the state of your device when Awake is active. So the default is keep using the selected power plan. And now you'll see when I change these, the tray icon, which is this little icon, which by default is a little teacup or coffee cup. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that in the video. It's quite small, but nonetheless... So when I click keep awake indefinitely, we can see that that little icon changes. And if I head to the next, keep awake for a time interval, we can see it changes once again. And then the last one, the fourth option, keep awake until expiration. There we go. And it changes once again. So that's just a little bit of a UI improvement with some other quality of life changes according to Microsoft that have rolled out for the awake tool. And then the Next key highlight, just to mention this quickly, is for Mouse Without Borders, where you can move your cursor across uh, multiple devices, as you may well know. What they've done here is, is they've made changes to general GPO policies and have rolled out new policies for Mouse Without Borders. And what that basically does is, uh, in a nutshell, is that um, they've, the GPO policies give more control over the use of some features. So that's a bit of basically a bit of a stability improvement when it comes to Mouse Without Borders. And those are the key highlights. Um, there are fixes and improvements and add-ons for existing tools. As mentioned, no new features or modules when it comes to new tools and utilities. And if you head to your general page, if you want to get more info regarding what is actually rolled out with this latest update, because there's too much to mention in this video, you can head over to GitHub by clicking on uh, the release notes as mentioned. And yeah, you'll see the release for version 0.83, where you can go check out all the other fixes for the different utilities that have received improvements in this update. But basically just making you aware that we have a version upgrade if you are using Power Toys on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.